What up, guys? It's Cold Iowa Gearheads. We got Nick, Hux, Hyundai. Damn. What the hell is Davey to you? Oh, that's Hold messed up. up. Oh, 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 yeah. Mm -hmm. Look at that. All that. Take all that in right there. All that. Anyway, all right. So, just to give you guys kind of a quick like update here, I don't know how well. I'm six foot four, so I got you know some room. Hux is a Volkswagen. He's a, he or she, whatever you dubbed it, is a convertible. Okay, so I'm gonna hand this off to Nick. We're gonna show you guys that we can open this roof in the garage, no problems. you guys with our yet third attempt put the boost gauge in not because we've been having problems but stuff comes up personal life issues you know how it goes we're gonna roll Nick up in the window but uh, yeah we will come at you guys with a uh, an update video here in a little bit see you later my gearheads right now this is the 04 Hyundai Sonata replacing a couple valve cover gaskets because it likes to leak oil and smoke coming out of my engine and everything. Eventually, what I want to do with this car is we're going to try and match it with that one and see if it can hold up with it. Eventually. Right now, it's nowhere near any condition for it. But besides his craziness, thinking he can take Daisy out, um, we have other ideas. Right now, we're gonna focus on the EOS. Look at those lights. I don't know if you can have them turn up. Let me let me get a little closer to Huck. Look at those lights. You gonna you gonna show them? You gonna show them more? All right. Don't mind don't mind the track. We just got a light set up. This is all the farther we've gotten with custom light setups. We're trying to work some stuff out with a couple of different builders, but for now got blue got red how about this how about how about, how about red there all right look at this blue over here blue over here okay you don't like blue how about green over here cyan over here or we got cyan in both Look, we even we even gonna pull people over. Screw it. Maybe a little bit illegal, but nah. but anyways, we're getting a booth kit installed in the Hux. Hopefully. <laughs> Hopefully for the third attempt, like we said in the other part. But just, just to give you guys a rundown, what we gotta deal with, we gotta run a hose, a tapped hose, a T hose. From this little bitty hose right here, we gotta run it all the way in through the firewall up to where we're gonna have the gauge sit up here. So, uh, we'll come at you with some more updates. What's up, guys? It's Cole, Nick, Holden, Dad with Gearheads, and we just wanted to give you an update. Last night, we said that we were gonna get the boost gauge into Hux. Well, this is our third attempt, and it didn't happen. We were misinformed on where the T-line goes. We were told here, and supposedly it needs to go down in here. And while we're down here, and I was looking at that, there's this nice little line right here. It's supposed to be for your antifreeze. Yeah, yeah. That broke. So then, we're getting ready to put stuff away. And, uh, Nick was, uh, that's how I told him how to test. See, that's how I told him how to test to see if how hard it's raining, how wet you get by the time you reach from the curb and back. It's raining. I'm wet. 
Anyway, we had the top down so I could I could have the light in there while we were wiring, and we moved the car back so we could have the light in the engine bay. Well, Hux has a five-piece drop top. It has the glass, the frame itself, section glass, section glass, and the trunk. And we were about yay far away. Well, all of us forgot that we rolled the car back. So when the trunk comes up, it opens this way, and it hit the wall. So we stopped and rolled it forward and got it all shut like it is now. And then the occurring problem happened where the trunk wouldn't open. All the glass and all the windows and the top would go down, but the trunk wouldn't open to put it all away. And it took us about a good say, hour to figure out what to do. Hour to hour and a half sitting in here trying to figure out we got a leak. Yep. Hello? Hello? <laughs> Trying to figure out how to get this to go down and finally Nick uh, Nick over here found out that if we use the scanner that we have that we could reset or resend the binary codes to reset the computer through the OBD2 port. So again third attempt at the boost gauge did not go as planned. We saved three grand though. Save three grand on drop top parts. Still waiting on a diverter valve and now currently waiting on an anti-freeze connection. But um, anyway so, guys. Hopefully, we'll get a boost gauge in sometime and <laughs> maybe be able to drive the car again. Or when, uh, when our parts don't get sold up in Chicago. Yeah. Lately we've been having a lot of issues about parts getting either held back or getting the wrong parts shipped to us. It's been kind of a trip. Yeah. So that uh, that concludes our video for this glorious rainy day. And uh, with that, this is the Iowa Gearheads. This is Nick, Holden, and Cole. Make sure you hit the like. Subscribe. And comment to our channel. And we'll I see you next time.